What is going on, y'all? So, y'all love the tool cart tour for the Epic Mobile tool cart. This is my Diag cart. Um, I'm not gonna take too much time in the beginning here. I promise I'm gonna get right into it. Um, as I'm going through, I do have a couple discount codes for some of the products in here. No kickback to me. It's just I when I talk to these companies and deal with them, I ask for discount codes for my subscribers and followers. Uh, and then one question for you all as you're watching this. Um, Diag carts and scan tools and stuff. My question is, one, do you have one? Two, if you don't, does the shop supply one? Do you feel like the shop should supply it? And um, what are all of your thoughts on that? I'm just curious. I personally think the shop should supply a Diag cart and the scan tools and equipment. I understand that some people want to buy their own. I'm totally cool with that. That's how I am personally. That's how I've always been in my career. I like buying my own stuff. But on the flip side, I know there's people that don't like buying tools. And I understand that too. It's hard when other industries are paying top dollar and you don't have to buy any tools in our industry. It's not the same and you got to buy tools. So anyways, that being said, let's get right into it. This is my Diag cart. I originally bought my Varus Edge with no Diag cart and then my Snap-on dealer pulled some strings and got this for me. They don't actually sell this particular cart by itself. Normally you got to buy now it would be a Zeus Plus or I think you can probably still get a Zeus with the cart and it's like the whole thing. Um, the reason I wanted it so bad was one, the monitor and the monitor mount. It also came with a docking station and I wanted this drawer and I'll explain why. So one of the reasons why I wanted this drawer, and I'm going to go straight to that because, sorry, I'm going to grab my light here. I don't like filling the videos with nonsense because I know y'all are busy and you just want the meat and potatoes. So I totally get that. All right. So the reason I like it is because as you can see, this drawer has a cutout because normally you would put a printer in here. Well, I'm in a Diag cart group and some other guy did this and it was a great idea. So he routed all of his wiring underneath and then I've got a magnetic uh, power strip back there and then I've got an HDMI selector there as well. So all the cables are here so that way they're not bunching up the top here. And I mean, as you can still tell, it's still kind of messy back here with the uh, wires from there and whatnot, but it's way cleaner. And then what I do is there's a switch here, so it's not hooked up right now because I normally have my iPhone hooked up when I'm recording. Uh, ne that's neither here nor there, but this will switch from the uh, Varus Edge to my Pico Scope on my laptop. So it's super nice if I'm jumping back and forth or whatever, I can pull it up on the screen there. So that, that's that. All right, so we've got our Varus Edge here, which I do really like. I've got the Apollo D9. The reason I have both is I do pre and post scans with the D9. It's way faster for pre and post scans. Um, and then I've got the Top Dawn Phoenix Elite, which has been amazing. It's been a great addition because obviously if you know anything about this industry and nowadays one scan tool definitely doesn't do it all. And obviously these are the same platform. So this has been great because it's filled a lot of voids that those don't cover up or those don't take care of. And then I've got, this is just sitting here. I've got my Pico scope here. I've got my Snap-on HD bore scope there. I've got the Cardac 3 plus 3 pass-through module, which is a great pass-through module. I work on a lot of Hondas, so that's been great to have. Um, my WPS 500, and then this is the case for that and all the, the kit. This is the BTS, uh, oh, geez, I can't remember. Uh, the BT609, sorry, battery tester. It also does have diagnostic software on it, but it's super slow. But to be honest, it's come in clutch uh, a time or two as well where the other scan tools didn't have something or data that I needed. Um, and then this is my Top Dawn Thermal Imager TC005. Uh, also, if you use code ENRITE15, you get 15% off of anything from Top Dawn's website. So if you're interested in any of their scan tools or their thermal imagers, which this thing's amazing, uh, I have a video with this thermal imager and then I compare them in the beginning to the Snap-on, which I don't use anymore. Um, and this is 300 bucks after the discount. So cheap and it's great. ITS 600 TPMS tool, which I really like as well. All right, let's get down to the next one. So now we've got, as you can see, I try to keep it organized as much as possible. It's not perfect, but uh, Bluetooth DMM, which I actually really like, and the app is the best part about it because you can graph and record and use that for further documentation anytime you're using the DMM, which is awesome. A couple test lights. Uh, this is a circuit tester from Jarhead Diagnostics. 
clamps, leads, back probes, test leads. Um, also, speaking of that, anything from Jarhead Diagnostics, same thing. Use code ENRIGHT10 and you save 10% off. You're going to see quite a few things from Jarhead. Brandon's an awesome guy. He's a veteran as well, so that's awesome. You're supporting a veteran-owned company. Uh, secondary uh, injection, or geez, secondary ignition <laughs> leads, sorry. Uh, parasitic draw tester. These are Warwick test leads or scope leads for my snap-on scanner. High amp clamp for the Pico, and then I have a low amp clamp. I was going to buy the Pico one, but I just bought the adapter because it was just easier. And then I have this because sometimes the jaw is so small, I can't fit it around the wire, so I bought this one as well. And it has a built-in DMM, which is nice in case my other one ever breaks, which it has before uh, the Bluetooth button messed up. And so I sent that in for warranty. Breakout box, some extra wiring, some tape, some rat tape. I do come across rodent damaged uh, vehicles, little mini torch, some loops for amp uh, or amperage testing. Milwaukee M12 solder gun, which is awesome. The snap on multi probe, which I do really like. It's made by Power Probe, but it's got a lot of uh, proprietary stuff. And then, uh, test lead kit. This is the part number as well, which is really nice. It comes with all the different sizes. So in case you have to front probe or anything like that, which I always try to back probe, but sometimes you just can't. And so, and I don't like cutting through the wire if I don't have to, I have their fills. Oh geez. These here. So sometimes you just have to do that as well. The piercing probes. So I don't use those very often. And then I do have, I don't know if that's in here. But I also carry a clear nail polish so I can fill it back in. All right, so on the side over here, this is the Snap-on Benchtop Charger Plus, which I really like. Um, it's been amazing. So anytime I'm doing Diag now, I have this hooked up, which has been great. It only goes up to 30 amps, so you can't use it for programming. But I've got the bigger Snap-on one that goes up to 90 amps, I believe. Um, and then I've got a couple S hooks here. for That's just for when I'm doing suspension work. That's not really for Diag. Uh, lead hook for when I'm using the scopes. This is perfect because it keeps everything organized. So you just hang it on the hood and hang your leads and keep everything organized. The uh, Redline Smoke Pro, love that thing. They, they're literally unmatched in that in that industry, but that's all they do. So it makes sense. All right, come to the other side here. Sorry, I'm just putting my put my light down. So this is for my DMM. It loops around the top and then it's got a magnet and a hook. So if I want to hang the DMM, this is solder spool holder, which is really nice. This is also from Jarhead Diagnostics. It's got a magnet on the bottom. So that's come in handy so many times. As you can see, this is also from Jarhead Diagnostics. Like I said, I've got quite a bit of stuff from him. Good friend of mine and he's got his great company and everything. So low, low, Low amp load tester, high amp load testers, bulb testers. Love those. I like the banana jacks on there. These are uh, multimeter leads that I got from him. And then on the back here, this is my scope lead hangers. You can also hang other stuff as well. He makes them both for snap-on and uh, harbor freight carts because a lot of people are using harbor freight carts for diag carts, and that's a great cart. You can't go wrong with that. I'll put you back here real quick so yeah you can't go wrong with the harbor freight card they're like 600 bucks especially if you're a shop owner and you're buying one for your tech it's a great card for the price you can't beat it um like i said i just wanted that bigger drawer specifically for that reason whatever works for you it doesn't really matter i mean again i always say in my videos people get into that whole argument which tool which brand is better at the end of the day buy what works like you know what if you're buying multiple carts for techs Buy the Harbor Freight one. It's going to get the job done. So yeah, this is it. Again, let me know. I, I am genuinely curious. Most people don't stay around to the end of the video, so I can be a little bit more candid. I like to get to the meat and potatoes in the beginning, but I seriously would like to know what are your all's thoughts on Diag carts and, and just scan tools in general. There are a lot of shops out there. I personally still know some shops nowadays that don't even have an updated scan tool, which is mind-blowing to me. And I'll be 100% transparent. I am not the best at Diag whatsoever. Still have a ton to learn. 
I wouldn't say I'm terrible, but I wouldn't say I'm great either. Kind of in between middle of the road. Um, I can fumble my way through it and figure it out. So that way I'm not shooting a parts cannon at it because I absolutely refuse to do that. If there's something that's over my head, I'll find someone to help me or I'll bring in a mobile Diag Tech to figure it out. I'm absolutely not gonna shoot the parts cannon at a vehicle. You're wasting a customer's money and it's unprofessional. So that's my thoughts. But yeah, there's, I know shops that don't have service information, that don't have updated scan tools. They're basically just looking for all the low hanging fruit um, and not actually diagnosing cars, which blows my mind. So don't be a parts changer as uh, Paul Danner from Scanner Danner says all the time. And it's so true. So anyways, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. There's tons of Diag people out there to watch on YouTube. Um, Mario from Super Mario Diagnostics, go subscribe to his channel. And then he just did two videos, a part one and a part two, of all of the people he recommends to follow on YouTube. And he's got a great list. It's an amazing list. Scanner Danner's on there. Eric O from South Main Autos there. Um, obviously, Super Mario, he didn't put himself on there, but I'll give him a shout out because he's got a great channel. He works on a lot of Euro cars. Really good information. So many awesome people um, to follow. So anyways, as always, I appreciate y'all. I have links in the description below of some of this stuff as I always put my Amazon uh, affiliate link and then I'll put the discount codes in there for you as well. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any way I can. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much. Seriously, I appreciate it. Subscribe if you like this type of content. See ya.